guys, I'm going to be doing a review of Mini Sage today and comparing her to Mini Julie. So they both, I'll just get started, they both have the same kind of eyelashes, they're both painted on and their eyes are painted on, but because they're so small, they measure at about six and a half inches, I believe. I don't have a ruler with me right now. Actually, I believe I do. Hold on. So, never mind. Um, yeah, I think they're called six inches, but they're six and a half. So, um, they're both really cute. You see Brooke's little freckles, which is, is sorry, my hand is shaking. This is Mini Sage, who I renamed Brooke, or Brooklyn for short. Brooklyn, Brooke for short. Um, she has more of, like, the hair for eyebrows, and she has more, like, pencil thin, kind of like Julie. Um, she has more of, like, a chubbier nose, I guess. I don't know. It's just, and hers is more upturned and small. Um, but they're both really great dolls, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. And they have the most softest hair ever. Softest, I don't think that's a word, but... But you see their hair is rooted in tracks. Or not rooted in tracks, it's rooted, rather than being in tracks. You see like some of that? Yeah, I got that from my froggy stuff. The big dolls are in tracks, but... And I made this dress of mini Julie's that she's wearing. And the little shoes, they're like little slippers, they're supposed to look like Tom's, but... It was a trial and error thing, so, you know, that it has a snap in the back. But, yeah, I'm going to be making a lot more of those. So, overall, these dolls are really great, and I love them. They come with really cute little detailed outfits that look just like the big dolls. And their hair is very soft. It's very manageable. Um, I don't think I'll have anything bad to say about her. She's so cute. Although, I kind of wish she came with earrings, or at least, you know, like, painted on, because Big Sage does. But, you know, if that's the worst thing, then great doll, pretty great price, you know, not awful, a little bit expensive, but not really, like for a small doll, but they're really great quality, so if you don't feel like spending $100 on an 18 inch one, then I recommend getting the 6 inch. Alright, bye guys! Before I go guys, I also just wanted to tell you that, how the story of I got, how I got Mini Sage, because I went to my local Barnes & Noble, and I went into like the little American Girl section. They have like a bunch of the American Girl books there. It's pretty awesome. I think they have those everywhere. Anyway, um, and I didn't see any of the mini dolls because they normally carried those. So I was kind of disappointed. And I'm like, oh. And then like I was looking and I didn't see any of them. And then I step like one or two steps forward and I see the like really distinguished red, pink, and white box. Hint, hint that one. Um, I just saw it from the side. So, I was like, what the heck? And then I see the pink on the top, and I knew it was Mini Sage. I look right in, because that's what the girl of the years look like. There's Brooke. Um, I just knew it was her. And she, there was only one of them. She was the only doll there, and it was so lucky for me, because like I was like freaking out when I saw it, and I wouldn't stop talking about it. Well, I probably got a little bit annoyed, but you know. Um, as you see, I talk a lot, but anyway, I was like so grateful and so happy to fa yeah, have found her and to have her now. She's just so cute and everything, so I thought that was really lucky, so I hope that keeps up. Alright, for the last bit, bye guys!